Sam thought this might help. Dad. Making friends. Even when you're shy. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay. So, meet people by playing Street Fighter. There's a tip for your life. More VHSs. Oh, a letter. Hi, Terry. Enclosed, please find a Pioneer CLDD 703 unit with remote and cables. We need a half page review for the October issue, so that gives you about two weeks to give us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the CLDD 502. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as laser disc. And they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end buyers. Look for looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Dave. David Werning. Hi Fi Aficionado Magazine. New York, New York. Okay, so our dad reviews uh, CD players and things for a living. Notice that it's not there, nor is it in the box. Want more VHSs, records, want more books. It's that book that Dad wrote. Terence L. Greenbrier, The Accidental Savior. November 2nd, 1963. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Terry, hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor, and tell him your old college chum Mike sent you. Here's the address. Do it, Mike. Oh. So Dad's friend is the one that got him that job. Well, that's cool. Cassette. I highly doubt that our dad is the one that had that. Anything in here? Oh, there we go. Read story. The Heaven at the Edge of the World, Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Some day she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. 
We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed toward the sunset. Okay, well I think that's all we can find here. Hey, are you the new girl Sam? I'm Tommy, I'm at the back, behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi Tommy, yes, I'm Samantha, and yes I'm new, what's up? I just thought, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho? Or does it run in the family? Well, that's mean, Tommy. Hmm. There does seem to be a lot of stigma associated with this house. Huh. Oh. Some Irish whiskey. Handcrafted and bottled by Turex Kelly Incorporated. Made in Ireland. Oh, it doesn't break. That's disappointing. Uh, let's look at this first. Oh, wrong button. There we go. The killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the, mo the movie Discover the Truth. Hmm. Okay. Well, our dad was probably looking at that while doing research for his book. Anything in there? No. Can I not open that? No? Okay. Nothing down there either. Crumpled pages. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass at the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet. His bare feet. He stared for a moment. Processing his sick, feckled toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight poly polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase Matter Transference Operator. Then he passed out. Passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap. The gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now... a man. They needed him, now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to, pro what to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble it. So he made the machine, how to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood, and now he stood there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes, command of the vessel, because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could home the naive crew to their destiny, the fate of the galaxy. Well, that's pretty poorly written. So either our father was drunk, which I could expect thanks to the whiskey, or maybe he just isn't good at literature. I don't know.
Ah, so this is his review of that player. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular Can I highlight that? I want to highlight that. Ah. Foo. That's rolling weird. Anyway, Anything in here? Oh, I do not know the combination. Though, I might find that somewhere. Okay. I think I checked here. Oh, no. <clears throat> Terrence Greenbrier, electrical inspection form. Uh, does it mean local codes? Yes. If there any deficiency is unclear. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into the structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently unpredictable, lights blink out for no clear reason, pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuit wires directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the surface. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Black Cat Electrical Co. Harold Price Jr. Date of inspection, September of last year. So that was about nine months ago, I think. Well, that works. Telephone directory. Seems like a thick door, but maybe it's not especially thick. Huh. It's weird. Read notes. Ah, he's looking at potential titles. The accidental patriarch, villain, ambassador, messiah, the occasional, sometime, unreliable, savior, hero, a year on the mountain, come down from the mountain, the accidental prophet, the unreliable prophecy, the accidental prophet. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, that's not openable. The Accidental Pariah. Huh. <laughs> Gosh, Dad. Another book. A Stranger Under My Roof. The number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. 